girl lit and welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in my office um i just got done filming some content and now i wanted to come and sit down and make this video for you first of all happy new year i haven't really been on camera to speak to you guys since it's been the new year 2023 welcome i hope that everyone does great in 2023 you guys accomplish all the goals that you set for yourself and you stay positive and you stay growing okay i wanted to do a series because as you guys know i've been through a lot publicly privately i have just lived a lot of life in these 32 years of my life and one of the things that i want to do and make it like a regular thing on this channel is to you know kind of talk to you guys about a little bit about what i've been through and um you know the things that i've learned and how to help other women get through these types of things that us women go through you know if you're new to my channel hi i'm Liv. i didn't even get to say that <laughs> hi i expect a whole bunch of new subscribers over here very soon i am manifesting it into the universe and um just in case you guys didn't know i'm Liv. so if there is any woman out there that i could help i want to help especially with all the experience that i have and everything that i've been through like it makes it a little bit better because I get to help other women through it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Anyway, so if you can tell by the title of this video, um, it the topic that we will be discussing is how to get over an ex or over someone that you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with. I made a lot of mistakes in different relationships. And yeah, I don't like to see women go through things. It breaks my heart. So let me tell you guys a little bit, a little bit of tips that might help you guys if you guys are going through a breakup, a divorce, a separation, whatever the case may be, and you're just like, oh my gosh, how in the world will I ever get through this? Because sometimes it feels like you will never get through it. Like the pain is gonna last forever. But let me tell you, it does not last forever. It takes time, but with time, okay? When it comes to my tips, number one is take time to get yourself together. Okay, so to me, what that means is, I feel like sometimes when us women, I'm speaking to women, I'm sorry men out there, if you guys are watching me. I don't know what y'all go through because I'm not a man, okay? But, um. Yeah, I'm sure you guys could find some Kevin Samuels or some uh, somebody out there to watch. But over here, I just help my fellow women because I am a woman. But anyway, take time to get yourself together. Okay, so to me, what that means is reevaluate the situation and get it together. Because sometimes, most of the time in relationships, we lose ourselves. Okay, most of the time, okay? Unless you're in a great, healthy relationship um, where things are balanced, the person is pouring into you like you're pouring into them, then things won't get off balance like that, you know? But, you know, obviously, if I'm speaking to women who have not, who are no longer in relationships, obviously there was something wrong there. So you have to really take time to get yourself together and collect your thoughts, okay? If that means don't answer the telephone, don't text nobody back, don't go back and forth with the person that you're breaking up with, don't play games, don't fight, don't argue. Like if things are over, things are over, okay? This is also like what I would tell my younger self, <laughs> honestly but hopefully there's a younger live or younger girl out there going through it who sees this video it says don't i know you want to pick up that phone and cuss them out i know you want to uh, maybe go on social media and cuss them out i know you want to fight i know you want to argue i know you just you're hurt so you want to hurt somebody else okay but don't do that take time to get yourself together Okay, rethink, recollect, regroup, okay? The next tip I have is stay busy. Yes, um, if you guys stay busy, you won't have time to think about the BS, okay? You won't have, your mind won't be preoccupied by the hurt, 
the pain, <laughs> the sorrow, <laughs> you will be busy doing something else and throw yourself in work, throw yourself in, if you like to work out, work out. Who likes to work out? But you know, um, if you just, don't throw yourself in negative things, things that don't serve you, things at the end of the day, you won't gain anything from. Try to throw yourself in better things that will benefit you at the end of the day, okay? Whether it be work, if you love to paint, paint, draw, draw, read, um, go shopping, whatever you need to do to get yourself out of your head and go focus on something else instead of foc focusing on the breakup, okay? Tip number three, understand that the relationship ended for a reason. Um, a lot of the time, us ladies, we go back and forth, back and forth. Like, you know, we we don't know when to like cut it. Like when it's done, it's done, you feel me? Um, especially when you're dealing with somebody who is this, feeling the same exact way. They don't know how to let it go. You don't know how to let it go. So you go back and forth and you prolong the breakup. You prolong the pain. So understand that it ended for a reason. There's a reason why it ended. You have to remember that. Like when you're sad, thinking about the relationship and the good times and the love and the everything, you have to remember why did it end? What was the end? What was the breaking point? Focus on that and it will like make better sense to you when you won't reach for the phone and call him up or call her up or whatever, whatever the case may be. You will remember that it ended for a reason, okay? That reason is valid. Just because you're in a new unit of time and it's a week later and you guys might be not heated anymore. Since he still cheated, he still lied, he still hurt you, he still did whatever he did for the relationship to end. Or you did, he did, you guys both did. But the relationship ended for a reason, okay? Remember that. Okay, so my tip number four is don't go back and forth. And that kind of has to do with understanding that things ended for a reason. Like I said, don't go back and forth. Don't go back to, a, to him, to her, whatever. Don't go back and sleep around. You know how we play games. We'd be sleeping around still. We'd be doing this. We'd still be talking, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. <laughs> Save yourself that hurt and that pain. Don't do that. Just when it's over, just be done. And look, you guys, I know that I'm speaking from a healed place. I'm speaking from a place where I'm no longer in this situation. But these are serious things that I've realized going through it and doing it completely the wrong way, I could have saved myself so much hurt. And I know it's easier said than done, okay? Because when you're going through it and you're hurt and you're feeling so down and so hurt, okay, the hurt, I understand, like I get it. You just be like, no, you just go with the flow, okay? Whatever makes you feel better for the moment, I get it. But for the long run, it's going to be harder on you. Okay, so yeah, okay. Tip number five is learn to love yourself. <laughs> um, this also to me is like learn to just be by yourself, um, which is another tip on here. I'll just put them together. Learn to love yourself, spend time with yourself, okay? Um, take yourself out, relearn yourself. Cause like I said, if you were in a toxic relationship, which is probably why it ended, um, things were off balance. You weren't loving yourself. You weren't putting yourself first. You weren't taking care of yourself because we get lost in relationships. That's what women do. I can't speak on men, but I know that women, we lose ourselves in the person and we forget all about ourselves. Have to learn how to be alone. When you master that, nothing else will really get to you. And that's really what I had to, um, I had to learn, you know, I had to learn how to be by myself. And um, even if it wasn't my ex, like have no man calling my phone, have nobody texting me, just to sit there and be by myself. I really learned a lot more about myself. I really, you know, figured out what I like, what I like to do, what I don't like to do. Oh, uh, you know, you can kind of go back who you used to be and um, 
realize your capabilities and your abilities that you once used to have, you know? Because like I said, when you lose yourself in a relationship, you kind of like forfeit all of that, you know? I don't know, if you know, you know, okay? So just learn how to be by yourself, sis. It's okay, it's okay to go to dinner by yourself. It's okay to go to that movie by yourself. It's okay to spend time with yourself. Give yourself time to heal. Healing is real and you heal the inside of you. So it takes some time, okay? Don't date too soon. This is such a huge, huge, huge point. Don't date too soon, okay? Don't, don't try to be cute and get with somebody and think that, you know, see, my whole thing with dating too soon was for me is I wasn't trying to rub it in nobody's face. I wasn't trying to hurt nobody else. I really wanted to be in a relationship. Like I was at that point in my life where I was like, okay, I'm ready for a relationship. I'm ready to be married. I'm ready to be settled down. I wasn't with the right person, but I thought, hey, you know, I could still date somebody. And if I meet somebody, I mean, who's to say he's not the right person and, and we could be together, you know, but that's not the right thing to do because you haven't given your t yourself enough time to heal. You don't even know what you want. You don't know what you want. You just got out of a toxic relationship possibly and you don't know what you want, what you like, what you don't like. You probably don't love yourself yet. And I mean, really love yourself. That's corny to me and I used to hate to hear women say that, but it's so real. Like when you actually love yourself, girl, there is very little to nothing that you will put up with from another person. Like if they're not bringing the whole enchilada, mm -mm, it's not worth your time. Cause you know your worth, you know how special and bomb you are to even waste your time with anything that is subpar, okay? So like I said, don't date too soon. Get to know yourself, spend time with yourself, learn to love yourself. It takes some time, ladies, it takes some time. It doesn't happen overnight, it takes time. I'm still not there. Like I'm still like, I wanna sit with myself. I don't wanna date, I don't wanna do any of that. Um. So no, I'm not doing that, I'm not. And I, I've been out of a relationship for a very long time now. But I'm still not to that point because I just know that I'm not there yet. You know, I still have a lot of more healing to do. And once you've been by yourself for a while, you learn to love it, honestly. You learn to love being by yourself. Like I said, there's little to nothing, honey, that I will put up with. So I'd rather just be by myself. Okay, all right. Um. So yeah, and another thing is dating too soon, you might rebound more than likely you will rebound so you can even find yourself in a situation where you stay with that person for a very long time the person right after a relation like your serious relationship but at least for me because I'm a person that wants to be genuinely happy I'm not okay with just being content I'm not okay with just being eh you know, whatever, as long as I have somebody laying next to me. No, I'm very not, very much not that person. Like I want to have it all. I want to be in love. I want, I want to be respected. I want the loyalty. I want the, I want the bond. I want, I want it all. Like I deserve it all. You know what I mean? So you might F around and stay with your rebound and end up with your rebound. And you're just like, unhappy pretty much is what i want to say so just be careful of that too ladies um it's very easy to get caught up in that type of situation too because you're still not healed from the last person and i don't know it's kind of to me you take all of the feelings and the trauma bond and everything to that next person and but it's confusing, like your mind is confused because it's not that other person. I don't know, it's very confusing. I've rebound before and it's just not, mm -mm. it's just not what it is. So be careful of that too. Dating too soon, there's a big chance that you could rebound, okay? Here's my last tip, stay clear headed. Okay, now what that means to me is don't drink. 
Don't drink your pain away. Don't smoke your pain away. Don't club your pain away. Don't F your pain away. Look, like I said before, it is much easier for me to sit, sit here and give you guys all these tips now that I'm through it and over it and you know, I'm good now, you know what I mean? But going through it, I understand that it's hard. It's hard and you're in a vulnerable place and you just don't wanna feel the pain. You do anything so you don't have to feel that pain, okay? I get it. And you might slip, you might slip. But if you see this video and you realize that, girl, I might be slipping, it's okay. Just start from the beginning, recollect your thoughts, regroup, get yourself together and try to approach the situation in a better way, you know? Um, Cause drinking it, drinking it away, screwing it away, sleeping it away, all that stuff, it don't help. Cause you still won't come back to your sober mind, your clear headed mind, and you're still going to be in the same place. So you're really just prolonging the process of healing. So yeah, guys, that's really what I wanna say. Like I said, people go through this type of stuff every day. People go through breakups, divorces, separations. It's sad, you know, it's really sad. I, I wish we lived in a better generation where people stayed together and people respected and loved each other. And, you know, there wasn't so many broken homes and things of that nature, but it is what it is, you know? And you have to take care of yourself first and love yourself first. And yeah, that's really what it's about. Okay, ladies. <laughs> Um, and if I could be any help to anyone, you guys already know, that's why I'm here on this platform. And in 2023, I really wanna see all of you ladies grow, heal, um, elevate, just do better for yourself, okay? The relationships, the men, the guy, all that stuff, it's gonna still be there. Take care of yourself first, heal. Heal, like for real, for real, heal. It's a journey. It's not like, a, oh, I'm healed. No, it's like a serious journey, but it's a beautiful journey. It's so worth it. And I wish I did this years ago. I wish I wasn't scared. A lot of us are scared to be alone. You know, this is not that video, but let's be real. A lot of women are scared to be by themselves. They can't sit by themselves because they haven't been by themselves for so long. And that was me. You know, that was me at one point. I just hadn't been by myself. I mean, I was by myself, but I wasn't by myself. You understand? Like, but when you actually see a healthy, beautiful relationship and a man that actually loves and respects a woman, it really changes the way you look at things, you know? So yeah. Anyway, guys, that is my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if my comments are open. I don't really know. I might just leave them closed for all the rest of 2023. I don't know because it's all about my peace and my healing. And I'm not jeopardizing either one of those. But I love you guys so much, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to always be you, do you, and love you. And um, yeah, for the next one. Uh, I'll, have these, I'll have these types of videos like once a week where we sit down and we talk about womanly things and you know just common things that all of us women go through on a daily um and yeah okay guys i love y'all so much and i'll see you guys in the next video